Here we have a, an electric shock machine, a penny arcade a coin operated shock machine. This was made by the Advance Machine Company of Chicago and we see that uh, embossed into the uh, center coin acceptor. This particular machine was uh, manufactured uh, probably in the 1930s. We see that it has its original lock and key which is uh, always a nice feature original chrome that's in quite nice condition. The machine has been restored and the mechanism uh, plays well. The marquee card is a reproduction of the uh, of the original and as it's uh, as you can see read here it's uh, basically coming across as somewhat of a health uh, improvement device but frankly um, these were very very popular trade stimulators in the uh, 30s and into the 40s and even into the 50s where uh, Store owners would have these in their shops and people would come along and use their spare pennies to uh, try and see how much uh, shock they could take. You see that there's a uh, the scale there, the numerical scale that's in yellow. Um, as you twist the right hand handle, that increases the amount of the shock and you'll see the needle move to the right. Uh, the machine is again in very good operating condition and it gives uh, quite a healthy dose of, uh, of electricity. These were made uh, Again, starting in the late teens all the way through the 20s and 30s uh, by Advance, by Mills, by Cayley, many, many manufacturers. Uh, it's very nice to find a specimen like this that isn't uh, all corroded inside. The old-fashioned uh, dry cells, after they went dead, would often corrode and bring in uh, a mix of uh, chemicals into the inside metal box that would just destroy the internal components. So um, let's go ahead and play this machine. You'll hear a, uh, when we put a penny into the coin slot there and twist it, you'll hear the clock, internal clock mechanism start. That's a timer that ticks down <clears throat> and counts down, uh, that uh, turns on the circuitry inside, and then after a, a few moments, it uh, ticks down and shuts everything off so that the battery doesn't uh, go dead. And then during that time, while the clock is ticking down, you'll also hear the buzzing of the electrode that is with the electrical circuit to create the capacitance inside that gives you the shock. So we'll hear both of those after we uh, turn the coin and start it. So there's a twist, and there we go. And we're supposed to grab both handles and start to uh, start to uh, give it a good uh, <laughs> twist. And I can uh, I cannot really get past. <laughs> I cannot get past 100 there, but uh, it's a pretty healthy shock. As I said, you would turn it all the way up and uh, be able to, uh, to take a healthy dose of a shock. But um, you hear the ticking and the buzzing. And uh, the buzzing will stop in a moment. That shuts the electrical circuit off and uh, sees there the battery is no longer being used now and there's no more shock now at this point. And uh, the timer will stop ticking in just a moment and then the machine is uh, ready to uh, play, be played by another patron. So this is the Advance Electric Shock Machine from the 1930s.